line fire continues to burn out of control. The fire now scorching more than 20,000 acres and is threatening tens of thousands of structures. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos live in San Bernardino with the latest. Annie Rose, good morning. Jess, good morning to you. We're standing off of the 330 between Highland and Running Springs, and this is one of the acres that the fire has burned through. At one point, the fire jumping the highway, going from one side to the other, and you can see it is completely scorched earth all around me. Now, we have another images from up above. Sky 5 flying earlier this morning, and you can see a little bit more of where that fire has extended to, as well as the impact that it has had here in San Bernardino County. County, the governor issuing a state of emergency here in this area that's going to free up a lot of federal funds in order to help get these folks what they need. But we know that a lot of shelters are open and evacuation orders and warnings put in place. Now you can see a little bit better that fire moving throughout bur and burning more than 20 thousand acres at this point and at this hour only three percent contained and here is what we know as the as the day goes on it's only going to get hotter now we know that cold air and colder temperatures are coming tomorrow but they got to get through today we also know that it's been a weekend of a lot of weather thunderstorms and rain only adding to the wind factor that makes this fire all the more unpredictable. Now, we went up to Running Springs. It is under an evacuation orders. However, not everybody has decided to leave, including this one man. Take a listen. My roommate's got a broken hip. And she's got a rod in it, and she can't, she's having trouble walking right now. Yeah. I've torn a cuff in my arm, so I can't help her much anymore. But we're, st we're, we're sticking around. If they tell us to get out, we're going to have to take our chances there's nowhere to go. All right, according to Cal Fire, they believe that just over 3,000 people have decided to evacuate. At this hour, over 35,000 structures are in danger of being impacted. But here's the good news. This fire, the Lyme fire that has now burned over 20,000 acres, it has not burned down one structure thus far. We have seen an army of fire department fire crews from Cal Fire and also fire departments throughout California coming here, staging in multiple areas throughout this region to sort of be able to react to whatever way this fire pushes throughout the day today. Now, we have also heard from the fire department and Cal Fire spokesperson. This is what they say they're up against. We have to surround this fire on all sides. We can't just say, hey, look, it's gonna go to the west and we know it's gonna go that way. With the thunderstorms, it could blow it to the east that same day, which it did yesterday. So we just have to be prepared on all sides. Now we know over in Big Bear, their schools closed for the day as well in Running Springs. It's a ghost town up there. We were just up there and we know a lot of people have left or sheltering in place and waiting to see what happens with this fire. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Annie Rose, thank you for the update there. New at 9, video captured by residents in Sherman Oaks showing flames and smoke rising from a transformer. This happened yesterday morning about 8.30 on the 5400 block of Bevis Avenue near Albert Street. The transformer overheating amid this extended heat wave. The fire knocked the power out to the area. As of this morning, 19 customers are still impacted. Many other cities uh, here in L.A. County are without electricity this morning as our power grid struggles to keep up amid the uh, dangerously hot weather. You're looking, uh, or we're going to show you here, the current active power outages uh, in our region. The biggest one's happening right now in Lincoln Heights. More than 500 customers are without power right now. In Highland Park, more than 400 customers are without electricity. It's unclear when power will be restored. The Hollywood Bowl was forced to cancel the Vance Joy concert last night because of a heat-related outage. Officials posting the notice just 40 minutes before the start of the show. It's unclear if that concert will be rescheduled. Really tough to be without power on a day like Oof. today. Another day of extreme heat, yeah. Henry, and then things start to change. Yeah, we're still hot tomorrow, but you'll notice change tomorrow. You'll start feeling things getting a little bit cooler. And by Wednesday, we're actually, we actually could even see 
temperatures drop below the average, which is an okay thing to do this time of the year. We're already dealing with warm average temperatures, so to go below it still gives us 70s and 80s. Now, uh, the issue is not so much the heat. Yes, it's the heat, I get that, but we get hot days this time of the year. These are some of the hottest average temperatures that we'll have July, August, September, extremely hot.